Anyways, women in government. Well, I mean, we can might want to take this time to recognize our, our, you know, it has been 100 years this month since women were given the right to vote. Hey everybody, it's Rachel and Rhea and we're the Gala Sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. And we're nasty women. Yes, absolutely. So today we are going to be talking about women in politics. Specifically women who have ran for either president or vice president. In honor of Kamala Harris. And that's how you say it. It's Kamala. It we sounds... remember it by saying like Pamela, Kamala. I say Pamela in my head a lot mm -hmm. before I say her name. Because we didn't know how to say it at first. So Pamela. So Kamala, we're very sorry that we did not have to say your name. I think that a lot of people are kind of in that boat. And it's with a K, not with a C. I yes. saw someone post, some newscaster posted that someone said something, and he wasn't happy about it, so I don't need to be. I no. So, you may think, okay, we've never had, up until Sarah Palin, who ran with, John, with the late John McCain. Yes. John McCain is longer with us, so he's the late John McCain. Now. Yes. Uh, John McCain died a little less than a year ago, It actually. wasn't that long at all. No, I remember when John McCain died. Me too. But, you know, now we got that out of the way. Sarah Palin was not the first. No. However, Sarah Palin's daughter, I think it's Bristol Palin, has been on Dancing with the Stars. And Sarah Palin was on The Masked Singer. She mm -hmm. did not win. No, and we didn't even guess who she was. For those of you guys no. who do not know who The Masked Singer is, it's a bunch of celebrities with their voices disguised, dressed up, in costume, and they sing. Didn't she, spoiler alert, didn't she sing um, Baby Got Back? Yes. <laughs> it was really funny, and nobody would have guessed it was her. No. Like, what? I gotta give her props for being super goopy, but I, I have zero respect for her when she, like, hunted wolves out of a helicopter. And, I mean, she's just... And awesome. she was also extremely unintelligent. But, you know what, I bet Trump don't like her either. No, because Trump doesn't like women. Yeah. So anyways, but she was not, repeat, was not the first woman to make it to a major party ticket as the vice president. No. As Minnesotans, we are very familiar with the name Walter Mondale. Yes. And just for a little factual you know, back when Wellstone died, my first year of voting, which is something that I think that is very important. Um, Wellstone actually, Wellstone's person who took over was actually Walter Mondale. Yep. Walter Mondale ran for president against Ronald Reagan, and I believe it was George Bush. More on that later. Um, his woman was Geraldine, a.k.a. Jerry Ferraro. She was a member of the House of Representatives. So she would have been the absolute first woman to have made it to a major party ticket. And the DNC did mention her yes. um, last week during, you know, the convention, obviously. And I also just want to take this moment to clear up something that Trump said. He said that the DNC took out the under God from the Pledge of Allegiance. No, 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 no. That was us. We were live streaming, and we said we did not appreciate that they added in under God to that because it was not originally we'll, in there. We will do a whole video on that and later because we have a lot of... Yeah, we appreciate the shout-out, Trump, but you probably should also get your facts, right? That it was us two, the Gallo sisters. And we would like credit for it. We would like credit for it. So anyways... As we got finished saying, there's a lot of other like women in politics, like Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House. And she has been around forever. Yeah. She is from California. Just, you know, big with just some, back, some little bit of background. Uh, Kamala Harris is currently a senator. And she was the Attorney General of um, California. And she 
Yeah, she Camel, was, Her favorite thing was Camel Harris for the people. Yeah, she was a DA. Um, oh, I forget. Yeah. She was a DA for San Francisco. I was right, so. And when she was Attorney General, the late, great Bo Biden was also Attorney General. So, there's dogs barking. Uh, so, she also is known for being really hard on criminals. She's not for the death penalty, but she does like to go after criminals. And one of the things that she's really famous for is she went after a really famous publishing company for dumping, um, like, toxic ink into a lake. And, I mean, with global warming being as serious as it is right now, and I know Biden has this on his ticket that he wants to address, that it is a very good thing that she has gone after that. She's perfect for that because she's not afraid to go after people and be like, okay, I'm holding you accountable. Unfortunately, one thing she did that I don't especially like was she went after people who um, were smoking weed and dealing weed, but those... Uh, Criminals have their records have been expunged by the next DA. All right, he went through. So it. let's go into a little bit of Kamala Harris's history. Yeah, Kamala Harris is the daughter of an immigrant from India. Yep, and a Jamaican. She spent her childhood strapped in a stroller, as her exact words, going to protests. I don't think that there is a more fitting vice president for us to have. She was shipped in by bus to a very white dominated school district which they tried to do in the school district we went to but it failed miserably it, it, no because if you we went to spoiler alert we went to edina um um basically that just didn't work out no and maybe it will someday hopefully keep trying <sighs> so she went through the ranks went to law school a lot of politicians are attorneys. Mm -hmm. That's not super uncommon. It is not common, but it is not super uncommon. Um, I believe that Obama was an attorney. Um, his wife was also an attorney. This brings us to Hillary Clinton. Oh, Hillary yes. Clinton was a the very first woman to ever make it to a major party ticket. Yeah, the first woman to ever run for president. And... She has her feelings, you know, let's, let's all just kind of like leave that in the past, but ways that she got a lot of shit that she should not have had to endure was, uh, during, I believe the DNC of that time, she was late to a speech because she had to go to the bathroom and she was late to some debates too, because of female stuff. And she was just ripped to shreds. She was also shish kebab for not knowing how to pour a beer. Okay, I know how to pour a beer. I've poured, poured thousands of beers in my life. But it is not an important life skill. I don't know how to pour a beer. It's not necessary to being intelligent enough to run a country. Like, come on. It is, it's not hard. First of all, it is not hard. I've done it thousands of times. I've been told I'm very good at it. But again, it's, it's like... Okay. Ooh, you could pour a beer. Good for you. Oh my god, you're a bartender. You can make an old fashioned. Whoa! But let's go back to Kamala Harris for a minute. Kamala Harris, not only is she the first woman to. Uh, black, she's the first African American woman, and she is the first Indian and Asian woman to make it to a major party, political party ticket. I have seen some things online. That seems to suggest that Mike Pence will be the last, and I mean last, white male we will see in vice president for a very, very, very long time. I believe that. I could Some see, of the up-and-comers. Yeah, I could see, like, um, oh, yeah, Van Johnson running as VP or... Um, Keisha Lance Bottoms. Yep. Uh, possibly Amy Klobuchar. Yes, she is not a white... She's not a white... Yeah. Maybe promise. Gretchen Whitmer. Oh, I could see that. Or, you know... That 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 lady from Michigan, as Trump likes to call her, that lady governor. <laughs> Possibly Elizabeth Warren. Yes, she yeah. is older. But she come. Um, and there's a little, and like maybe someone like Muriel Bowser. Yes. I could see that. The mayor of D.C. Possibly someone like Lori Lightfoot, mayor of Chicago. Yes. 
I could see all of these women and men of other backgrounds. I could see Ted Wheeler doing something more, maybe like taking Mitch McConnell's place in the Senate. That would be great. <laughs> I'd make a video. Obviously he couldn't because he's in Oregon, but <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, no, he could be the uh, majority leader. Drew, he could be the majority leader. Um, there are, you know, we got to remember that we have lived in this, and you know, all the governors pretty much are white males. The exceptions are Contrary to popular opinion, I'm going to correct something. There are 55 governors, not 50. Yes. I'm really sick of people telling me there's 50 governors. Me too. Quit making up stories. So, you know, to people uh, making YouTube videos or the president, when you speak, you need to confirm your facts. If you need to double check your phone or you need to refer to notes, that's totally fine. Or insert, you know, a rider later saying, I was wrong, here's the correct facts, then that's totally fine. You could do that, but you gotta get the facts right. Anyways, women in government. Well, I mean, we might want to take this time to recognize our, our, you know, it has been 100 years this month since women were given the right to vote. I think it's just crazy that there are people alive today who were, they probably don't remember, but they were alive when women were not allowed to vote. I just... With how progressive we, we are, a lot of us are, there's some of us that are, you know, those Trumpers, those COVID Trumpets. idiots. How about the Trumpers? Trumpets. They, I can't believe that gay marriage isn't even that old. Like, no. What? But let's how? go back to this. Suffragettes. Yes. So, let's talk a little about suffragettes while we're here, because we might as well. Suffragettes were the women who basically protested votes, you know, the signs that say votes for women. Like mm -hmm. in Mary Poppins, when the mother sings a song about votes for women. Yeah. And yes, that was technically the UK. Doesn't matter because there were suffragettes here too. Some of mm -hmm. the famous suffragettes are people like. But women still do not have equal rights. Yeah, we can vote, but, you know, I my personal experience in the male-dominated restaurant industry, we rarely get promoted. Women still need, make less. Women make 74 or 75 cents on the dollar. Yeah. I forget exactly what it is. That's atrocious. It's bad because, yes, it doesn't seem like a lot of money. Look at most of the governors. Most of the governors are middle-aged white men. There, yeah. Yes, there are a few women, and look at all of our presidents. They're all white men except for one man. Man, men, they're all men. And But women are so important. Like, you know, like, you know, even go to, I don't know, broadcasting companies. Most of the primetime anchors are men. Yes. I love most of the primetime anchors. On I am not knocking CNN. I love CNN. I think it's the best news network in the country. But think about the big names associated with CNN. It's a lot of testosterone. I want you guys to think names associated with CNN. Don't, I'm not going to no, say them. No, I'm not going to say them because you, you can think of them. But women also were not allowed to work outside of the workplace. The only reason we were allowed to be is because the nation went to war and they had to pull women out so that the factories could be staffed. If you used to, if you read books like the Laura Ingalls Wilder books, she was allowed to be, picture over here somewhere, she was allowed to work up until she married Almanzo. And after that, she wasn't allowed to work anymore. Oops, sorry. <laughs> she wasn't allowed to work anymore. Do you understand? Women were allowed to teach, be nurses, and that was about it. Hairdressers, maybe. Down below, we'll see if we can find a Jessica Calgren photo yeah. video about something like that. Because she's a really good source of... But it, it's disgusting. And it goes back to things, too. Like, men can walk around without their shirts on in the park or something like that. And even if a woman is wearing a bikini, she'll get shaded often. I mean, and... That's why you had women 
doing marches and bike rides topless because if men can do it, why can't women? I mean, it's... But women... Boobs you know, are, you know, they're for feeding babies. Primarily. If some woman whips out her boob in public, people literally have a meltdown. Even to feed a baby. I know. And that's just, it's, it, women are just shamed for being born the way they are. And it's, it's terrible. More women have chronic illnesses than men. Mm hmm Just, you know, an interesting statistic. There's so much interesting things about women. 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 <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> I had a moment of coughing. Excuse me. <coughs> women are not treated equally as men. We still are not. And Trump has dragged us back 50 years. Trump calls us all nasty women. Is that appropriate? If the president or the president-elect says that about women, they should be fired. I agree. How many people have we caught on tape ranting and raving about how they hate gay people, uh, disabled people, or women, and then their employers find out and they get fired? If our president is doing that, why isn't he fired? I don't know. That sets the standard. Women are given more crap than men. We're chased down the street. We're harassed. We go we're for a run. Going. We're cat call. Yeah, they're like, yeah, show us that booty. I'm working out. I'm not interested in having you explain it to me. You know, women, it used to be that, you know, women weren't allowed to wear pants. No. And still a lot of schools, like private schools, don't allow the women to wear pants. The private school that we went to, women were allowed to wear pants. Yes. We were allowed to, we all got, we were allowed to wear pants and shorts. Yes. But not all private schools do no, that. I know. We went to a rep school one year. Yes, for just one year. And it was You awful. went in sixth grade and I went it in seventh grade. It was terrible. The teachers, that's a different story. That's a different story. But, you know, look at what we do to women. Should we have to be screaming women matter? No. Women matter. And the world doesn't set the bar very high on this when, you know... The Chinese were wrapping feet. And how about women in WWE? I mean, it was just not very long ago that women were allowed to do ladder matches. Women were allowed to have cage matches. Hell in a cell. That was just within the last few years. Like, last three or four years. Yeah. And they were called divas before. Like, And a diva has a kind of a negative connotation yes, to it. it does. And now they're just called women. And, you know, as women, this stuff should bother any woman. I don't consider myself feminist, but I am a freaking woman. But I support women. Women need to support women. That's why we're wearing these, you guys. They say empowered women empower women. And then you come to domestic violence. Women are way more likely to be abused by their partner than men. Yes. I'm not saying it never happens to men. And we are very sorry to the men that it does happen to. But it statistically happens more often to women. But then we circle back. We circle back to women in government, women in politics. Mm -hmm. Women matter. Right now, I think there are more women that are sitting there waiting to be elected than there are men. Well, I don't think that there are some people who are maybe more qualified to be vice president than Kamala. I don't I think there might be, I can think of at least one who might be more qualified than her. Yeah. But, but she is going to open the doors for so many women and, you know, and black children too are going to be treated better by teachers and everything. And it, women are going to start getting promoted more and viewed as competent instead of just shut up, you stupid woman. Don't have an opinion. I don't want to hear you. You're too bossy. Why is bossy being bad? Why is taking charge being bad when it's a woman, but when it's a man, they're praised? I don't understand. And you know, we love, you guys know which governors are our favorites. Yep. Video linked up here somewhere. Yeah, it'll be up there. Video linked up there to our favorite governor mm -hmm. you know and and we know you know that the u.s somewhere appears the plight of the u.s will be linked as well we know 
that things are not good right now. 1.1 million new Americans filed for unemployment last month. And yet, and yet Nancy Pelosi is going to sit there and she's going to fight. And a lot of why I think Mitch McConnell is giving her crap is because she's a woman. Exactly. And a lot of the unemployed people are women. Too. Absolutely. What are we... This isn't good. This is bad. This is so bad. It's not fair. Women are not treated. And this is a very big historical deal. Well, yes, she is not the first woman who has been on a major party ticket. She is woman number four. If she is elected, she will be the first female vice president. We will have a first, a second husband or a second man. I don't know what yeah. they're going to call him yet. We don't really know. It'll be the first Asian in the White House. Sorry, we just got a message. Business message. There's so many things that are going to be good. Good things come. I mean, the, re the whole reason why George Washington founded this country, and I'm going to say this, is because he said, do you want to be king of America? And he said, no, I have a better idea. We need to have more laws that protect women, more laws that protect women from being abused, that if you abuse your partner, then there needs to be serious consequences. They need to come in. Keep going. They need to come in and they need to rehab that guy. They need to believe women. If someone says, okay, maybe you don't have proof, but then we need to provide more support for that woman. And we need to make sure that they are okay instead of just completely dismissing it. Like in 13 Reasons Why, spoiler alert, she, Hannah is, they believe her and they just tell her to get over it. And stop telling women not to internalize and stop being so emotional. Why do you care so much? Stop saying that to people. And it happens to men too, but more so to women because we tend to be more emotional. But what's wrong with but that? I think Biden, everything that he has had to go through, I think that this is what we need. We need someone who's going to treat women and men with equalness. And I was watching their first combined interview and Kamala was kind of stumbling through a question and he very quietly and firmly just jumped in and supported her. And I could just hear it in his voice that he was trying to help her look good. And I was like, wow, you know, that's the type of man I would want to be friends with. You, you are, are our word. Yes, there you go. Our word. You, Biden will probably help you through it. Because he is a good dude. And does it surprise me that he picked someone like this? Well, no. Yep. Absolutely not. Does it surprise me that he's friends with her? Well, no. It does not surprise me. Not at all. I wish I could say, Rhea, it surprises you. But it doesn't. Because Biden is everyone's friend. If a woman comes to a judge or the state and says, Hey, I was discriminated at my job. I was, I'm, I'm qualified. Here's a history of my promotions. And I was guaranteed this next promotion and it was taken away from me. And they have a discrimination case. It needs to be taken seriously. And that woman needs to win it. Because guess what? Most of those cases are thrown out. Or they don't, they don't um, rule in favor of the woman. They rarely do. So it's just not worth it even bringing it. Then Hillary Clinton prosecuted those people who hurt women. Yeah. She did. And that's why she was able to go as far as she could go. Yeah. And we respect the heck out of all these women. We do. To all women who are either in government or coming up through government, what do you need from us? We are there for you. We have an open invite for you on this channel. We will interview you. We will edit it and make you look really good. And we will air it out on YouTube. You know, message us. Email us. Um, Our emails are always down below. Yes. Also, you guys, just a little blurb right here. If you want uh, up-to-date information on what's going on in politics and 
key anniversaries like this, like the 100 year of women being able to having their right to vote, go over to our Instagram uh, at the Galafam and follow us because we post it there very quickly and we can get stuff up down there a lot more quickly than we can on YouTube because it takes a while to edit. So head on over there. I think we're gonna end the video here. Mm -hmm. So um, if you like this video, make sure that you like, like click on the little thumb, thumbs up, the thumbs up icon. Subscribe to our channel and give that bell a huge ring and hit all so you always know when we upload. We're the Nasty Gala Sisters. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. It's not a game, it's a red